English Ivy girls wore under moderate light, bright, or indirect lighting. If it's a struggle to provide a sufficient amount of light for the plant, perhaps you don't have the ideal lighting conditions at home, you can easily use grow lights instead. This ivy can grow well with fluorescent light as well with regular sunlight. Insufficient light can make the ivy become gangly and promote diseases and pests. Variegated plants will lose their variegation and turn dual green in low light. But if exposed to direct sunlight, it will cause leaf burn. Water thoroughly, letting the soil become almost dry between watering. Ensure that the pot has good drainage as the plant does not like damp roots. It can tolerate lots of humidity but also does well in average room humidity levels of 40%. Mist the plant regularly to boost humidity. It prefers rather cool temperatures of 52 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit in the day and even colder temperatures at night. Some varieties are documented to have survived winter temperatures of almost negative 30 degrees. The English ivy is not picky here and accepts any type of potting soil, as long as it drains well. This plant is slightly poisonous to humans and pets if ingested. It is recommended to keep out of reach. Repotting the English ivy is best done when the weather turns warmer. It is recommended to use a larger pot, although it is an energetic grower, repotting once in one or two years is sufficient. Propagating is very easy to do. Take a 4 or 5 cutting from a mature stem, cutting off below a leaf knot, keep at least 2 to 3 and remove the rest. Cuttings can either be rooted in water or perlite. The cuttings can be planted in a pot of fresh soil when the roots get about an inch long. It can be fed once a month in the warmer months with an all-purpose liquid fertilizer at the recommended dose. Don't fertilize the plant in winter. You will have to prune the plant regularly to make sure it is in good shape and growing well. Pruning helps encourage bushier plant growth. It is a rather hardy plant but there are some problems that can affect it. If the plant has plenty of drooping leaves, overwatering might be the problem. Review the watering schedule and water it less. English ivy is often prey to spider mites and aphids. Both this pest can be controlled by spraying the plant with water and insecticide or soap one or two times a week for a month. Neem oil can be used instead of soap. Regular misting will prevent a pest infestation as this pest tend to thrive in low humidity conditions. Isolate the plant, trimming off infected stems and leaves. Brown leaf tips could be due to either growing conditions being too warm or low humidity. Please note that the plant prefers colder temperatures. If your variegated plant is not getting sufficient light, the leaves begin losing variegation and turning dual green. All variegated plants usually require brighter light. Diseases that can affect the ivy are bacterial black or dark brown leaf spots appearing on the plant foliage and root rot damaging the root system. Unfortunately, the only remedy is to get rid of infected plants. Root rot is usually due to warm and humid conditions as it is fatal to infected plants. As with leaf spots, eliminating the plant is the best solution. You might notice certain parts of the plant are growing much better than other parts. This is due to the plant not getting evenly distributed light. Prune off the affected parts and move the plant to a better location or adjust the lighting conditions, particularly if you are using grow lights.